Hey guys, welcome back to another Cooking with my Hini Bini. Today we are making Toscana soup, which is a favorite favorite from the restaurant Olive Garden. If you've never heard that, we have a long history with Olive Garden. And he has a recipe to make the Toscana soup. So I will have all of these ingredients with measurements listed down below. He started off with this footage, just browning up the bacon, making it super crispy, draining all of the fat, and then chopping it to bits. And then from here on out, he will let you guys know what he's doing. My Hindu Mini had so much fun making the horchata. He thought he would show you guys how to make Toscana soup, which is potato soup from Olive Garden. So how do you start the sauce? How do you start the sauce? Uh, keep your uh, spicy Italian sauces. Spicy sauces. Okay, so how much sauces did you use? Wow. So one pound, this is 1.09 pounds of Italian sausage mild. This is just from H-E-B. So you browned it up, how much, and then you used some crushed red pepper? Yeah, a quarter of a teaspoon. Quarter of a teaspoon crushed red pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Step one, brown it up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cook it all the way through. Drain all of that extra fat because the sausage is not, I mean, this is not like a fat-free dish. So what are you doing? How much of that onion? It's going to be about a quarter of an onion. Quarter of an onion. Finely diced. Ooh, my eyes are watering. So it's, eight ounces, it's going to be like eight ounces of uh, diced onions. And then he had already browned. He, I showed a clip of him, not browning, cooking the bacon. How much did you say? And the bacon is going to be uh, two ounces. Two ounces of bacon. Okay. And it's actually ha eight ounces of diced onion, which ended up being about a quarter of that big onion. And just brown it up. So How I much garlic? To, uh, half a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon. And we just have the already minced garlic, but you could totally get the fresh. So he said you just have to make, I tried to get him to record but to record it before he started putting the chicken stock in there, or the broth, but um, essentially you just mix up the bacon, the garlic, and the onion for five minutes, and then you add in how much, uh, you use broth, broth or stock? It's a uh, broth or stock. You can use Either one? one? Okay. Yeah. How much are you putting? Uh, you, you need like 64 ounces. 64 ounces. Into your pot. So how long do you leave this cooking? Until they're uh, boiling. Okay, so bring that to a boil. So now you need uh, two, and a half, two and a half pounds of uh, potatoes. You Just russet? Yes. And you slice them. Two and a half pounds russet potatoes. And you just wash them. You wash them, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Leave the skin on. You. I guess if you don't like the skin, you could peel them. But that's what makes the potato soup potato soup. So you're just thinly slicing them. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what are you doing? Just rinsing a little bit of the starch off? Yes. So you cut mm -hmm. all the, that's what four, all those potatoes made? Yeah. Rinse off the starch, yeah. rinse, just, <laughs> rinse off the starch, I can't even talk. Yeah, and just leave them in there until the, until the soup boils. Oh, okay. So let them soak until the soup boils. Okay, so water's boiling, or not water, stock broth, whatever. You just put the potatoes in? Mm -hmm. All of them? And let them cook. How long do you let them cook for? Oh, uh, I would say maybe like 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah. Until, until they're soft? Until they're, until they're soft. After that, the last thing, like once, uh, once the potatoes are ready, like ready, you just have the sausage and the... Uh, And that's it. Okay. It's been 15 minutes. Are they done? Yeah. Yep, they're done. they're done. So pretty much when they start to fall apart, Autumn's toy is playing in the background, sorry. So just add in the sausage. And then how much cream did you add? Eight ounces. Eight ounces of heavy whipping cream. And that's it. There's your Zippo Toscana. So then when you serve it, which I'll show you here in a bit, you cut up a little bit of kale, 
throw it in there. I wouldn't put the kale ahead of time. It'll get kind of soggy, right? Just put it like as you serve it. Mm -hmm. And I kid you not, you guys, he made this a couple weeks ago and it tastes exactly like Olive Garden's Zupa, to Zupa Toscana soup. It is so delicious. And we have a long history with OG. That's where we met, huh, my Kini Vinny? That's mm -hmm. where we met almost 11, oh yeah, like 11 years ago. <laughs> Memories. You have something to say for your second cooking video? Well, the first one wasn't, wasn't really cooking. <laughs> the first one was just a recipe. If you make it, I hope you like it. Okay. There you have it, guys. That's all you're going to get from my honey bunny. <laughs> thanks for sharing, baby. Oh, you're welcome. Bye. Thanks for watching.